Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Now this is just going to be a video talking about the possible DJI ban that is around the corner. Whilst I have discussed this on live streams as well as other places, I haven't really discussed it on my channel. And what I thought I'd do today is just give you a bit of an overview of what's going on. We're not going to get into too many technical details, but then just ponder over the possible implications and outcomes because there's a lot of hearsay, there's a lot of comments that DJI is going to be banned, DJI are going to block you from using your drones, can I still use them if this goes ahead? And the truth of the situation is today, no one actually knows, but what I am going to do is lay out the real possibilities and likelihoods but also knock away some of the complete nonsense that is never going to happen as well. Now, this is a complex situation. There is no easy way to get into this without going into the depths of politics, but the very basics are there is a proposal going through the US to add DJI to a ban list around FCC certification. Now, this is basically the same way that Huawei was stopped from selling products in the USA. Rather than it be a ban on DJI as a brand or a ban on imports, it's a ban to prevent them being used within the US telecommunications network, which means DJI products would not be certified for use in the USA. Today, we call that certification FCC. Any wireless device in the USA that is used must have an FCC certification. And the interesting thing around this ban is they're trying to block DJI via the FCC route. It's actually very clever because they're trying to block it via the wireless certification. When you read the bill, they say the following the communications equipment or services being a telecommunications or video surveillance equipment produced by DJI or a number of its subsidiaries, a telecommunications or video surveillance service, including software provided by an entirely as described in the subparagraph. It's actually very clever because basically it prevents the use of any wireless DJI device, which would mean drones, ground-based solutions, anything that transmits. That isn't to say there may not be other bands around the import, but this specifically would have a dramatic effect on the ability to use the DJI products because they are heavily wireless based. Now, to be clear, this hasn't actually gone through yet. It is being made as part of a larger bill. The basics are this week, that bill, which included this specific part, has moved a step closer to being a reality, but it isn't actually the case yet. Now, as for why is this happening? Well, there is so much we could talk about here. The truth is there is a wave of protectionism happening around the world right now, not only in the US, but in Europe as well, especially towards Chinese made products. For instance, there's just been new tariffs added to electric cars being made in China as well, being imported into the EU. And then you have the security implications of DJI products, a product that is manufactured in China. Apparently, DJI is supported by the Chinese government. And as a result of that, it doesn't sit very well with US government and DJI products being used in sensitive infrastructure situations. DJI products being used with the data they collect has the potential to be sent outside of the US and used for nefarious things. Now, to sort of counter this, DJI this week has made a change on their consumer drones, and that change is that they've basically blocked the ability for users to upload their flight logs in the US to DJI servers. Basically, by doing this, DJI is saying, hey, your data isn't at risk because you can't give us your data, so what you're saying isn't correct, and it's a sort of counter move to try and head off this potential ban. However, I don't really think it's going to make an ounce of difference, but it is interesting to see DJI go as far as blocking users from syncing their logs in the US to make a real point that they can't have the data if you can't give it to them. 
Now, if you're after some more specifics around exactly what is being proposed, it is under the National Defence Authorisations Act and it is actually called the Countering CCP Jones Act and it is under section 1722 and HR 2864. Here and now, this bill this week has moved a step closer into being a reality. However, it hasn't actually happened as of yet. And here and now, there is no effect on the use of DJI drones in the US or anywhere else. Now, if this ban is to go through, it is a very hard line in the sand for DJI. Their products would be banned from being used in the US radio communication airspace. As a result of that, the drones would not be able to be FCC certified. They would not be legal for use in the USA. Now, it isn't clear in any of this, if this ban was to go through, would it affect only future products or would it affect existing certified products as well? There is just no information out there to say either way. The reality is it could affect every single DJI product ever sold in the US or it could be a line in the sand moving forward. There will also be no way around this for DJI. Their products require a wireless link. And as a result of that, if this was to go ahead, it is end game. There is simply no way for DJI to legally import and sell those products in the USA. Now, the big question you will obviously have is, well, what does this mean for me? What does this mean about my drones? Can I still fly? And the answers to this is a little unknown as well, other than the fact if this ban goes through and it affects everything, your DJI product will no longer be legal to use in the USA. If it is only for future products, then you will not be able to buy DJI products in the USA. That doesn't mean, though, you couldn't import them via other means, but the use of them in the US radio airspace would be illegal. Now, one other thing I've seen people ask is, well, what if DJI products are banned? Will I still be able to use them? Will DJI stop me using my products? And my personal opinion on that is no way in hell. Regardless of what the US government does, there is no world that I see DJI actively blocking the use of their products in the USA. It just makes no sense for them to do it at all. Regardless of what the law will say, DJI, if they're banned, they're banned. They have no real good reason to do anything to support the US government, comply with the regulations, because it's a block. It's a ban. They will simply just do what they need to do outside the US and they're not going to go out of their way to stop US users from using their products. In fact, it would be a suicide situation for them to do it. They would simply end their business. So DJI is not going to stop you using your drones. This will be a legal and legislative block, not a company block from DJI themselves. And in fact, it's in their interest to let you use their products and not stop you using them. Now, as for what products this would affect, well, it's everything. There's no ins and outs. It would be DJI ready to fly drones, DJI FPV, DJI cameras, any DJI product that has a wireless link would be blocked. That isn't to say they couldn't sell products without wireless built in, but hey, I'm not sure what use that's going to be to anyone, but it would be basically any DJI product that transmits a wireless signal. Now, if you're not happy about this, there are some things that you can do. DJI do have their own blog with lots of information, facts, as well as propaganda about the effect that this ban will have on the US drone market, the effect that it will have on users or anyone using drones for good in the USA. Alongside that, you also now have the Drone Advocacy Alliance. This has been set up to allow you to take action, allow you to send the message to your representative and tell them that you don't want this to happen. On here, they have resources and they have a take action button where they talk about making your voice heard and you can now actually oppose the CCP Drone Act campaign. They have information as well as a form down here available as well for you to complete and have your voice heard. Now, there has been a lot of conjecture around how do we stop this? How do we make sure that we're still able to use the products that we've bought? And I'm going to be honest with you here. I don't think there is a single thing you, me or anyone else can do about this. This is so far up the line right now. There is literally a train that is rolling 
and what station is going to stop at remains to be seen, but it is going to stop at a station regardless. And whilst you might want to reach out to your local representative, I'm not convinced it's going to make any difference. There is a huge amount of pressure behind this from a political point of view, but also from an internal business point of view in the USA as well. You will see a lot of talk about US drones for US troops, a lot of talk about China spying on the US. And the reality is this is something that has been bubbling more and more over the last five to seven years. And it has reached a stage where I'm not convinced there is anything any any of us can do to stop it. Right now, we've just got to do what we can and see what happens. Now, with regards to what will happen in the rest of the world if the US did ban them, I'm not exactly sure because I'm not convinced it would spread across the globe. For instance, Huawei is blocked in the USA. This block that they're trying is the same one they have for Huawei, yet that hasn't happened in the UK. It may happen in some countries, but the reality is in others, there's been no effect at all. And I think DJI won't have too many problems in the likes of the UK and Europe if it was to go ahead. This, in my opinion, is largely a US thing. You might see some countries follow like Australia. They do tend to follow around these things, but the UK and Europe, I suspect, wouldn't. Largely, this would be a US problem more than anything else. I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of good news for you because I'll be honest, there isn't any right now. As I've said, my personal opinion is there ain't a thing any of us can do about this right now and we've just got to wait and see. However, if you do want to shout and scream at your local representative, go for it. It's not going to do any harm. I'm just not really convinced there's anything we can do right now. They will not care about our opinion. They will not care about the money that you've spent or how you run your business. This is being labelled as security. This is being labelled as supporting US business. And there is a lot of money and a lot of lobbying going on in the background from within the US drone industry to try and make this happen. And the reality is most of us are passengers, but you never know. It might not come to pass. DJI is starting to make concessions, so they might do enough that heads this off. But I'll be honest, I'm not convinced. And I do feel there is a very, very real possibility this is going to happen. So that's it for the doom and gloom on this one. I just though wanted to give you my thoughts and opinions on the situation. I'm interested to in know what you think. Let me know below. If you've got any questions, put them down there and I will try and answer them as well. That's it for me. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.